Well, welcome back here on your Tuesday. I won't say it's a much quieter night because of how bad the winds are and it is still raining, but severe weather not expected. Thankfully, as we head into tonight, the rain and the wind will slowly move out of the region. 52, 46, 58 in your first forecast. Your Wednesday looks to be a pretty pleasant day. Still a touch breezy, but a lot better than what's out there over uh, across the region today. So as we look at the next seven days, some key headlines, takeaways. Temps are going to bounce around quite a bit. We're going to have some cool days. We're going to have some mild days mixed in a very spring like weather pattern. Rain chances already back in the forecast tomorrow night. And then when we get to the seven day forecast, you're going to see it's kind of littered with uh, a lot of 20% chances. But tomorrow night into Thursday morning, the best overall next chance after what's ongoing right now. And as we talked about at the top of the hour, we have had tornado warnings in northeast Nebraska. Uh, late this morning into this afternoon. That activity has now shifted east. We're seeing the last push of rainfall that's coming in out of the north. Some good rain falling from Ainsworth to Thedford. Uh, now moving down through Custer County. It's very welcome. Anytime we can get rainfall without severe weather, that is always uh, a good thing. We are certainly or have been very dry and it's nice to see that rainfall moving through. Problem is it is coming with some extremely strong winds. We have a high wind warning. That will run till 8 o'clock. North Platte, Ogallala, Imperial, Binkelman, McCook. Wind gusts are being observed of over 60 miles per hour. In fact, uh, Imperial right now is 61 mile per hour gust. You had a 67 mile per hour gust uh, just a couple of hours ago. Not thunderstorm related. This is just because of this very strong low pressure system. And you can see the wind swirling around it there in the northeast. Gusts of 47 in Holdridge, nearly 50 in Smith Center. It's it's pretty miserable out there right now. 56 in Lexington, Kearney, Grand Island. You head south, it's a little warmer at least. 68 in McCook, 65 in Hebron, only 40s up in Ainsworth and Thedford. And with that wind, it makes it feel much worse. Look at this low pressure system. I mean, this, it really got organized last night and then has quickly moved through the region, spawning severe weather uh, in the eastern part of Nebraska. A lot of severe weather ongoing in Iowa, but just very clearly you can see it spinning its way as it's moving up towards the Great Lakes. That will continue to move out of our region. So as we look at our future cast, everything will be shifting east as we head into tonight. Your Wednesday still a touch breezy, but a lot better and really looks pretty comfortable. But then tomorrow night, here comes our next chance of rain. I think it's going to favor areas kind of along and north of the interstate for the best shot at rainfall that will continue into the very early morning hours of Thursday before moving out and clearing out by the time we get into your Thursday afternoon. Tri-City forecast around 45 for the low tonight. Winds are going to remain strong for a while. The rain moves out 70 the high tomorrow. Going to be easily the most comfortable day that we have for the rest of the week and 39 tomorrow night as another chance of rain will be moving into the region. Temps tonight will be in the 30s and 40s primarily with highs tomorrow expect to be back upper 60s to low 70s. I would really suggest you make the most of Wednesday because we go back downhill pretty quickly. 48 the high by Saturday to get back to 70 on Monday, 64 Tuesday. Like I said, a lot of little 20% chances of moisture in there. Tomorrow night will be the next best shot at some rainfall. What a night last night. Yeah, um, again, blame Kyle. Because Everything it was, was calm fine. until he walked in the door. I, that, I'm not even exaggerating. I was sitting here.